Hello third years. Today you're going to have a lesson on reviewing place value. Um, your, your places, your golden beads, and then you're going to get a lesson on rounding to the nearest 10 and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then you have a fun activity game to do um, in Seesaw um, in your Google Slides. So we'll look at that as well. So first of all, to review, So let's say we have this number here. We have a single digit three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Only those numbers, one, zero through nine, can fit in each place. And this is the ones or units place. Now, let's say I have a number that looks like this, 23. I have two places. And this is my yes, my tens place, right? Gonna add another number. And now we have three places. And this is my hundreds place. And our place value, like the rooms in a house, our place value can only have three rooms in each house. So I'm gonna kind of make this house here. Until, and if we add, we have another number, and now our number has four places, then this is actually gonna start a new house over here. So we have the unit thousands, And our little comma here is going to be the fence between the houses. And if I add another place, that's going to be the 10,000s place. And if I add another, that'll be the 100,000s place. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, and this is our single our unit house. And then we have our thousands house. We have unit thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So if you see a question that says, let's say they give you, oh, I'm just gonna write it down here. Let's say they give you a number in the game and they underline one place and they say, what is the place value of this number? You know that it is the ones place. They give you another number, but this place is underlined. We know that that is our ones, our tens place. So if it helps you to start from the beginning, ones, tens, hundreds. 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. If it helps you to like make this and revert to it, that's a-okay. You're also gonna see blue golden beads. So they'll, they'll have numbers. And I'm drawing that really quick. They'll have a picture like this. And we remember that these are our units. We have one, two, three, four, five units. These are our tens. And they, you'll be able to see four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 10 units to make a 10. So we would have 10, 20, 30, 40. And our squares are 100. We have 100, 200. When we write it like this, this is actually called expanded form. So we have 200 plus 40 plus 5 gives us 
245. And if it helps you to think up here, we've got our ones, tens, hundreds. And you'll have a few of these to like really help you practice and get that down. Ones, tens, hundreds, unit thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. And we could keep going. Unit million, ten million, hundred million. Unit billion, ten billion, hundred billion. Unit trillion, ten trillion, hundred trillion. It keeps going. And if you notice, keep adding a place. And a zero at the end. Let's do another one of those. Oh, that might be paper. Darn it. Hold on just a second. I thought I grabbed more paper than this. All right. I'm going to make a cube here. Do we remember how much what a cube represents? That's right. A cube represents one thousand. Let's see, and the, the ones on the screen will be a lot nicer than Miss Brenda's. <laughs> so we have our number here. We've got our ones place. We've got our tens place, our hundreds place. And our next place is the thousands place. I see I have one, two, three ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 tens. 100, 200, 300. And 1,000. And this is our number written out in expanded form. So altogether, we have 1,363. One thousand three hundred sixty-three. Sometimes you'll see a number, and it'll ask you to write it out in expanded form. Well, if you remember your places, ones, tens, hundreds, then you know the value of each of these, and you can write it out in expanded form. This eight is eight ones. And that's just eight. We have zero tens. Well, zero is always zero. So the value is zero. I don't really have to write anything for that. And I have seven hundreds. Well, how much is seven hundreds? It's seven hundred. So 708 written in expanded form is 700 plus eight. Easy peasy, right? All right, now on to the main event rounding to the nearest 10. So rounding estimation is just a way of doing mental math. It, it helps us like when we look at a number and we want to know, well, I have about this much money or I have about this. Um, it's a way for your brain to look at things really quickly. So um, we learn this and we practice it and we get really good at our mental math. So rounding, I'm going to show you on a number line. Um, and when we round to the nearest 10, well, that's always going to be, these are our 10s, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 
70, 80, 90. And we stop at 90 because if we keep going, it's 100. And that's not a 10. So our answer will always be one of these or end in one of these numbers because these are our tens and that's what we're rounding to. So we can also look at it in terms of a number line. And let's say my number is 23 and I want to round to the nearest 10. So I'm going to have a number line that's between that's going from 20 to 30. We're at 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. That's pretty, pretty well done. So this is our halfway point. And I'm going to plot 23 on our number line. 20, 21, 22, 23. So there's 23. Well, basically, we're looking at which 10 it's closer to. So 23, we can see really easily, it's closer to 20. So 23 would round to 20. Now, let's say I wanted to round 27. What's 27 going to round to? Is it going to round to 20 or is it going to round to 30? Well, let's see. 25, 26, 27. I see that 27 is closer to 30. So 27 would round to 30. Now, what if I've got a number, I've got 25. Let me put it over here. What is 25 going to round to? It's right smack dab in the middle. Well, in this case, whenever you have a number smack dab in the middle there, ending in five, you're gonna round up because yes, it is the same distance to 20 as it is to 30. So somebody went ahead and made a rule for that and said, go ahead and always round up to the next number. They call it rounding up. So 25 will round up to 30. So you have a number in the tens. You're looking really, you're really looking at that. So you don't have to draw a number line each time. You're really looking at that number in the ones place and you're seeing if you're staying at this level or you're rounding up. And there's a little rhyme to help you remember. So you got one through four, hit the floor. That means you're gonna stay on the tens floor you're on. But five through nine, climb the vine. And that means you're gonna round up to the next 10, okay? One through four, hit the floor. Five through nine, climb the vine. So let's do a little bit more practice. You have 74. Are you going to stay on the floor, stay on the 70th floor, or are you going to round up to the 80th? Well, if you remember our rhyme, one through four, hit the floor. So 74 will stay. 70th there. 75, however, five through nine, it's going to round up to 80. You can always draw a number line if you're not sure. Let's say we've got 83 and you're like, I just don't remember the rhyme. I have no idea. Uh, Miss Brenda's not here. I cannot remember what to do. Draw a number line. You're trying to see, is it going to round to 80 or 90? 85 is in the middle. One, two, three, four. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 81, 82. Okay, I think my, my meeting went down for a minute, so hopefully we're good. All right, so there we go. We see that 83 is closer to 80. And it's going to stay on that 80th floor. Now, you may have a number that's in the hundreds place, but it's still asking you to round to the nearest 10. So let's say we have this number here, 247, and they want us to round to the nearest 10. Well, that's still going to be, your number is still going to end in either in a 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Okay, it's just, we've got more places. So this is still our tens place and we're still looking at our units place to figure out, are we gonna stay on the floor we're on or are we gonna round up? And I see a seven in my units place, so that tells me five through nine, I'm gonna climb the vine. We're gonna round up. So we're gonna round up. Our next 10 would be 50, because we're looking at we're really looking at 47. Is 47 gonna to round to 40 or 50? 47 will round to 50. So 247 rounds to 250. Okay. Now last thing on that game, they're gonna ask you, they're gonna ask you something like, what number will round to 60? What number? will round to 60. And they'll give you some choices. Well, there's several numbers that would round to 60. I'm gonna put 60 right here in the middle. So we know that 61 would round to 60, 62, 63, and 64. 65 we stop because 65 we know will round up to 70. So I can put 61, 62, 63, 64, and I stop. And now we're going to go backwards on the number line because there's numbers that would round up to 60. That would be 59. I'm try to write upside down here. 58. 57, who remembers our magic number that we're gonna stop at? 56, 55. That five through nine is gonna round up. So any one of those numbers would round to 60. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 61, 62, 63, 64 would all round to 60. Okay? So when I ask you that, just remember that. Five through nine, the numbers that come before that end in units five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the numbers following 60, one, two, three, four, that stay on that floor. These all stay on the floor. Okay, let's do one more of those. I can't remember what it asks you on the game, but let's just go ahead and say, what numbers will round to 20? Round to 20. And I'll go ahead and give you some options here. Let's say, I'll just give you some different choices. All right. Which of these numbers is going to round to 20? Will 27 round to 20? Well, we look in our units place. Seven, that tells us five through nine, we climb the vine, that would round to 30. So nope, 27 will not round to 20. What about 22? One through four, we stay on the 20th floor, so 22 would round to 20. Ta-da! Put a check, I can't. So yes, 22 will round to 20. 14. 
one through four, stay on the 10th floor. We're gonna stay on the floor we're on. So 14 would round to 10. So nope, it's not gonna round to 20. 18. Five through nine, we're gonna climb the vine. It's closest to, that's right, 20. So 22 and 18 will round to 20. 27 and 14 will not. So those are the things that you are going to do. Now I'm going to share my screen and show you what the game looks like. Okay, so if you Sorry, whenever I share my screen on this, it takes, it starts going really slow. It's a lot for it too. So if you go to present, so go to view there, go to present, and then you're able to answer the question. It'll take just a minute here. Here it comes. Let's hope my internet holds out too. All right. So it has how to play. Um, if you wanna like Zoom with somebody in our class or in another LE class, you can do it that way on your own. It says start with the first question. When needed, use a piece of paper and pencil to solve the problem if you need to draw your number line or write down your place values, whatever it is you need to do. Um, it says mark your answer on the answer sheet. I'll go ahead and make an answer sheet for you guys to fill in. Yeah, we're not gonna mess with it. Okay, question one, what is the place value of the underlying digit? That is the Yes, it's the hundreds place. And I can click on C there. And it should. Eh. No. So I clicked the hundreds, if you were paying attention and it said, oops. So then you can go back. Oh, sorry, it's taking so long. Am I freezing as well? So I'm gonna click the actual correct answer this time. B tens, come on. You got it, all right. Click here for the next question. All right, what is the place value of the underlying digit? That is our ones place. I click on A. I'm gonna wait a minute and be patient. It's hard to be patient. Maybe I'll try clicking again. Come on, slide. There we go, way to go, we got it. All right, I'm gonna go back to the one. Let's go down here, let's see what's question 21. All right, here we go, round to the number 37 to the nearest 10. So our answer is either gonna be 30 or 40, but we look in our ones place, we have a seven in the ones place. So five through nine, we're gonna climb the vine, we're gonna round up to 40. A40, come on, come on, shamba. Good 
goodness gracious. There we go. We got it. All right. So that's how you play the game. It has to be in present mode for you for it to um, for it to show there. And you can go ahead. I don't like that it doesn't tell you what number it is. Um, oh yeah, it does. There's 22. Okay. So I'll, I will go ahead and make um, something that you can go ahead and fill out. So for number 22, it'll say round the number 12 to the nearest 10. Well, 12 would round to, what do you think? B, 10. So for 22, you could write B. Goodness, this is definitely gonna be our last one because this is so annoying that, there we go, way to go, all right. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing now. All right, so have fun practicing your place value and rounding to the nearest 10. And if you need to watch the lesson again to review something, you're not quite sure. And if you still don't get it and you're just like, oh, I totally don't get this rounding thing, then reach out, let me know and we can keep working on it together. See you later.